Hi everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid. My new painting is The Good Life. The Good Life is not just a message about a cabin in a wilderness, it is also a statement about life. And I think all of us in our own way are searching for the good life. Of course, The Good Life is the third painting in my series, Beginning of a Perfect Evening. And the first piece in that collection was a painting entitled Evening Majesty. Evening Majesty was a dramatic painting featuring a luminous sunset and, of course, a cabin with campfire out front. The second piece in the collection was entitled The Peaceful Retreat. It was more of a rolling hills kind of cabin setting with a lot of fun details. Some bears coming up over the fence in the distance deer coming down to the stream. A campfire and, of course, all the comforts of home brought into a wooded setting. The Good Life is the only vertical in the collection, and I think, in a lot of ways, it's the most detailed piece so far in the beginning of a perfect evening series. Now, this third piece marks the conclusion of the series, so if you have had a chance to get one or both of the other two paintings in the collection, this one, might be a great one for your collection as well because it is the third and the final piece in the beginning of a Perfect Evening series. I have portrayed The Good Life in a wilderness setting. We have, of course, the cabin with its glowing windows. We see a rocking chair on the front porch, some climbing flowers on the chimney, our fisherman is busy as the evening approaches, getting his line out there, maybe catching a nice brook trout. The canoe is pulled up beside the cabin, ready for a paddle down the stream. The campfire is just dying down. And of course the stream is cascading down from the mountains. And what mountains we have a dramatic sense of the mountain range in the distance. This is, of course, an imaginary mountain range. People always ask me what mountains those are, and of course it's the Kincaid Mountains, my very own mountain range. We see the mist rising up out of the valley, and overhead the clouds are catching the rays of sunlight. A perfect evening is upon us. I really enjoyed detailing this painting. I put a lot of small touches into the painting you will see. Of course, all the foliage detail, there are birds flying, there is, of course, my hidden ends. I put the initial N into my painting as a tribute to my wife, Nanette. She and I, this year, are celebrating our 22nd wedding anniversary. And of course, there are 17 ends in this particular painting, so see if you can find them all. One of the fascinating aspects of working with a dramatic landscape setting such as a mountain range is the sense of softness as you go into the distance. I like to use paint layers to gradually glaze that distant area which allows it to recede into the distance. This painting has a particularly dynamic sense of deep space. You'll see that very delicate sense of transparent mist as it comes up from the valley below. When I work on my paintings, I'm always envisioning the effects of light. Of course, I'm known as the painter of light, and I create lighting effects really as a way to enhance the mood and the emotion of that painting. When you dim the lights on the painting, you will be able to see the glow really come to life. The cabin itself will begin to radiate as though the lights are ablaze inside that cabin and the mountains and the sunset will get more luminous and more colorful. I really envisioned this as an autumn setting, and I wanted to create the idea that autumn was beginning to come upon us. The trees are changing colors. There's that crispness in the air, and it's the perfect evening. It is quiet and still. You can almost sense the murmuring sound of the brook as it cascades down the hillside. A very peaceful time, the time of day when the world slows down a little bit 
and you can feel at peace. Everything I create is really an attempt to embrace the life of my collector, to create something that will impart a sense of God's love, the beauty of nature, a simpler way of living, uh, a sense of celebration of life. And that's to me what art is. It's a companion that you bring into your home and it becomes part of your life and something that you can share with your children and with others. So my prayer for you is that you will enjoy this painting for many years to come. God bless.